All right, hello everyone. So today's Tuesday. Let's take a look at what's going on. Now, yesterday, gold. This is gold. Remember, these were the astro hours for yesterday, the swing hours. You should have been good with gold in the New York session in the afternoon plus the evening. Um, this was especially a good price for any of you to get in if you're using the ATM strategy. Why? Because on the weekly, I said that 60 level is 2,353 and on the daily yesterday that was 2,354 okay today it's 55 which is 2,359 but yesterday it was 2,354 what does that mean it means 2,353 and 54 were right here and this is exactly where I got in now this was not an astro swing hour this was okay but i wouldn't miss a pst weekly and a daily con uh, you know converging together on the same price no way so i took that trade on if if you were waiting for the swing hours you should have been also all good because impulse wave up market came back and if you've learned a little bit of technical analysis or if you've learned from me you already know you don't have to chase the market once the impulse is done it should come back and it did come back right into there just below the 50 going back up again so after that swing hour anywhere buying here with a tight stop loss under there was a fair game now today what about today today we've got news coming out so you got to look out for the news i've also already put the swing hours into the members area right so all right so you guys already have that now this is just before the fed talks fed's going to start talking at five so this is pre-news setup and after the fed news there's going to be action jackson into okay market moving into 1840 to 1910 all right there you go 1910 all right to 10 and so you got the next possible swing there and should target 2240 okay so that should be the target if it keeps pushing and moving all right so let me just update that and that's how it is so let's get back into looking at the market impulse wave market going up but this is a nice straightforward fall right into a demand zone PST level swing hour moving up so as usual i had two trades one's already covered and i covered it all the way up there i didn't even cover the stop i just waited because i need, knew this would retrace back why well just same kind of principle we should come back all right and that's also a daily pivot so i got out here on that one but the trade is still on and let me tell you why because we are still on the right side of the V the V okay so this retracement if it holds it still has potential to go up and if that's the case we should be going up until Thursday Friday so Thursday we should have a high and the market is either gonna sell on a high on a Thursday and then follow it on a Friday so we should be pushing up and we're on a Tuesday so my opinion humble opinion is that we should be pushing up all right if the market comes back down again i'm in favor of buying because i think we're going to have a higher week also if you look at your swing days you'll understand what i'm talking about so monday tuesday being a swing day that's monday if the market retraces back even all the way down here buying again to go up is okay all right this is the first resistance zone of the day and it's logical that this is resisting 
I'm thinking this will break. If it does, it needs to break in this time zone here. Okay, so this is the time zone it needs to break out in here. If that's going to happen, okay. Why? Because these have all the way into here, they break out and um, dodgy, let's just say dodgy, all right. So this zone's a bit tricky. If the market mucks around here, we might have a breakout there or a break down there. So in both cases, you can check it out. Um, and like I said, the US, you'll get an ample opportunity to um, to set up before the Fed starts talking. If you want to wait for the Fed's talk, you can. Once you find direction, it should go into that 8.39 and then it should go towards that 10.40, 10.50 zone. Okay, and that's basically how that is. Let's take a look at the Euro dollar. Now the Euro dollar. Today is a swing day for the Euro dollar. Remember we got gaps up here, so we still have room to push up. Okay, if the market comes down we can go up into that 57 1.0893 which is logical it's there 1.0893 is slightly up there so it probably will take us into this zone 1.0893 is there and that's your manipulation there before the breakdown so we've got room to come up and we've got room to fill in the gaps so i'm going to take this whole thing here all right uh 67 and the lcl one is 1.0871 so 1.0871 is also target 1.0864 and yesterday, look, right on these zones here, market sells off, 08.61.74, there. All right, so if we go, we should get to these levels. And once we do, then obviously we've got room further to go. If you want to buy into it, I think you can, it's not a problem. Um, it's a bit in the middle of nowhere but at the end of the day you can buy into it where to buy if we're at a swing hour and the market is at a swing hour if we're down here low of Asia you know anywhere in the low of yesterday previous day low this low into you know into day low so any support level at a swing hour you can mark them in okay this is already done you see they've closed the gap there and they've used this bar so that's done but this is already a good zone so if the market is around here or in this zone I think you can still push up on this one to go you can target yourself the previous day high it should break out if it does we should go into that zone sp500 market still going up with this one i did say um wait for it okay wait for tuesday and friday indices so let's take a look this is pushing up so this has got room to go i can now get rid of that and just chill out we'll just have to wait for that Tuesday because today's a swing day after the Fed talks maybe we might get you know something um, yeah maybe we might get a high that the market may sell off at until then you know until then don't do anything because until we get a reaction there's not much to do here all right so yesterday as well, I 
think I said wait for the end of season until Tuesday. Let's see if we can get a reaction. This is not a bad day to sell. I'll tell you why. Because you've got high, high, three days of highs. This is going for a downtown call. If you want to sell this, I say in the US session it's doable. Okay? Because that's three days of going high and then a dump is in order. All right, so that's that. Um, where from is a question. You will have to wait and see. I'll tell you why. Because on the PST, weekly is too far out. On the monthly, the monthly is too far out. On the daily, that's too far out. So these are all like kind of too far out. So we'll have to wait and see um, where it hangs out in the US session. Then you can use your one hour chart or your four hour chart okay and that's basically it so friday up monday up today up selling down is not a bad idea and then if the market sells in a rush we can target the weekly pivot if it's going to be a big kind of fall okay so that's on the hourly on the hourly you can also do this let's just do this okay here we are so if the market ends up somewhere at a pst level up here and selling it off is not a bad idea so if you're using ata atam strategy you can just draw your lines as well if there's a dotted line that's also good if you want to sell the highs at the swing hours i think it's doable because it is a swing day let's take a look at dow jones and nasdaq now indices are going together this week just like last week so let's take a look this is the dow jones there you go look big spike up but closing below i did say yesterday this has got a bullish tone because of the higher lows and the equal highs here and but that's basically it that's a big push up and a pullback we'll see how things pan out so today maybe how to deal with this one well there's a breakout here so we don't want to stand in front of it on this one as well I wouldn't stand in front of it we'll have to wait for a sign that it's going to fall if you still say it's a swing day and i want to sell it maybe the lcl one is doable at 39.526 but 39.526 is there i would wait for a swing hour if we get up here this is a good um, peak formation if we close the gap come up into here at swing hours selling off is not a bad idea okay market still has not gone lower yesterday it didn't go lower than the low it did in Asia All right so there's still no sign of bearishness as you can see okay <clears throat> but this is a good good sell-off so if we come back up again into a swing hour then maybe we can wait for it now because i don't like to go against the pst um, if you're going to trade the indices you might wait for a better setup maybe tomorrow as well you can wait for tomorrow if that's how you want to pan it out if you want to buy with the pst to go up is it doable yes it is okay it is doable what can you do why would you do that because a swing day is also a day with a good push so if the market comes down into the opening closing price or the low of yesterday or the weekly pivot at a swing hour going up with a tight stop loss is also not a bad idea this will go for all the indices obviously nasdaq same kind of stuff let's take a look let's get rid of this 
Now, like I said, this is really, really bullish, so that's fine. No need to stand in front of it trying to sell it. Okay, as you can see, we've got breakouts. So, what to do with this? Well, you can look for a buy opportunity when, if it comes to 72.73, that's the price of 20,161.258, which we marked in yesterday. 258.161. Alright, so unless it does a retracement back, I don't know. Okay, I don't like to buy the tops, so we're not going there. Alright? On the monthly, do I have a target? Well, it is a bit far out, so market is bullish, as you can see. So, all you can do really is either wait for a sell reaction which breaks support so we can sell on a pullback or buy if the market comes maybe to the daily pivot as well. So this daily pivot zone, previous week's high, previous day low. So these levels, closing price of today at swing hours may be appropriate to keep buying as well. Remember, it's a swing day as well, so you've got to be careful with this. But it's just not in a good setup to sell because the market is high. Normally on a swing day, we'd like to sell, okay? but the setup isn't very good. So what we can do is we can wait for a reaction, a sell reaction. Tomorrow we can sell the retracement if that happens. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. With Bitcoin, as you know, we're on the shorting side of things when the price goes up. So sometimes people sell off without the retracement. And what I always say, guys, do not sell where they've been buying before this is a place where they filled in the gap. I did say the market should come down. On the weekly, it has come into that zone. So no problem there, okay? But in my opinion, we should still be going down. But if you take a look at your daily, there's a gap here as well. So if the market wants to go back up, we need to go, uh, we go back down, that is. We need to go up to sell, all right? And that's how I think things should be planning out. All right, so if the market comes back up into this zone, selling is not a bad idea. You can dump it from these high levels. There's also a bit of a gap here, as you can see here. So if you close the gap, if the market closes the gap, that's your order block. Selling it is not a bad idea in that zone. Should you buy to go there? If you want to buy, you can do it at 23 which is a price of 52.864 and that's about it okay but personally with all the pushing and shoving down I rather sell a high rather than trying to buy a low okay at this point so we can go with the flow of the market because the buy orders should be in this zone here and even on the weekly okay even on the weekly it hasn't really popped into the order block. Alright, hope that helps.